teaching kids about climate change is important, and at the same time, it may feel like you have to give out a lot of information, a lot to get through. Yes, but there is a contest right now using art to educate kids and get them engaged. Meteorologist Sarah Robleski shows us how it works in tonight's Eye on Earth. Between the colors and paper on the table, each one of these pictures has a message. Cool science is um, youth educating adults about extreme weather and climate change through blending of art and science. It's a collaboration between UMass Boston, UMass Lowell, and a number of partners. Cool Science is an art contest for students K through 12 about weather and climate change. Climate change is a really complex issue. So we're looking at using art and the creativity and design aspect of that with the science and combining those in kids' minds about what they think about extreme weather, how it affects them. From drawings, paintings, to graphic design, the art is judged on its message, scientific accuracy, creativity, and of course, how it looks. Contest winners like these will end up on a number of buses. Like this one in the Merrimack Valley to communicate climate change and extreme weather to the community. We have a lot of second graders that enter in to see that, you know, they can really learn a lot and then they can share that with the adults in their life. And then the adults they don't even know on the buses can look at it and really learn from second grade art. And on this bus was the beautiful artwork of Haley Jones from Winthrop excited beyond words. It's like unexplainable, like my insides, I feel like they're boiling. Not only are you on the outside of this really cool bus, you're on the inside. That's cool. Her winning drawing is not only displayed on a few of the Merrimack Valley Regional Transit Authority buses, but proudly on the wall of her playroom. It's really good work on extreme weather. You can actually see the difference from what looks to be really bad to something really good. And is that you? Yeah. And you say that weather can be fixed by you? Yeah. Her artwork inspired by her love of outdoors and the beach she lives nearby. There was this rock and it was a little farther out and it was like the lowest tide it was. And my parents were like, I remember that used to be like the marking for high tide and I was like, the water moved that much? Because now that's like really deep to swim to. It's crazy. So you have seen the direct impacts of climate change right here in your hometown. And she shares her advice after learning and drawing about climate change. It doesn't take a lot to change it. You just kind of start using reusable water, water bottles and reusable bags. And if that's not enough for you, you could make a poster and put it up in town. <laughs> Even if it's not on a bus, it still makes a difference. The Cool Science Project is noticing a difference and effectiveness of using out-of-home media for science education in both youth and adults. To find out how to enter in the next Cool Science Contest, which we will begin later this spring, visit CBSBoston.com. I'm meteorologist Sarah Robleski, WBZ News.